Here's a teaser of the counts report that will be available to you once you complete your DCLA and Ministry Environment training sessions. This report will allow you to pull all, all of your class, group, and team related participants and volunteers. <clears throat> you can select any of the three primary groupings that we've identified in our structure, including the ministry environment, i.e. the class, the group of the team, the ministry department, for example, established families or assimilation, and of course the campus, such as Millbrook or Wake Forest. The primary grouping will be the first level grouping, and of course secondary, you can pick that, and then um, once that's picked, of course the third is by default in place. Once you pick those, you can go in and select which ministry environments you want to be pulled. And in this case, I'm pulling all of our classes, our volunteer teams, our groups. I just selected everything. So you can see all the way down, there's everything. And then over here, you can pick whatever departments you want. I picked assimilation because it has some good teams on it and established families because it has some good groups and classes in it. And then I have picked the campus and I've included just all of them and then I can pick the specific ministry environments and in this case I just picked them all all the classes all the teams all the groups that exist and then again I also picked all of the different roles that are available and I want to include all those in my report so I'm going to generate my report now and it'll take a while to run it's pulling all that back once it comes back I can drill into it. So here it comes back in summary mode. So you can see here that um, the report is called the Involvement Listing and Counts Report. And since I selected Ministry Department as the primary grouping, it grouped it by that, then by the campus, and then by the ministry environment, such as group, class, or team. And you can change those. So if I wanted to do it by campus, I could do that. If I wanted to do it by groups, I could grab all the groups then divide it by the ministry departments, and then divide it by the campus, etc. The um, These are the fields that the departments have available to them to classify their environments, and of course there are the three environments. Here you can see that this column represents the unique individuals that are participating across the environments. This column represents the actual positions or roles. So of course we have more positions than we do in unique people. And then, of course, across the top as well, this rolls up from the bottom up where we have the same thing, the number of unique people versus the number of roles. So, of course, you can see that the roles is always more than the number of people. And it starts off summarized. And then, of course, you can expand that and drill into it. Here are the churches, I mean the campuses. You can drill into a campus. And you can see here the ministry environments. And in terms of an example of a team, you can drill into it and see the coffee team, for example, the um, consultants team. And if you drill into that, let me pick one that's a little bit smaller. Let's look at the ministry in a box team. You can see here that. There's a coach, which is Kathy. There are several members, and there's a leader of the team. And you can see those counts are rolled up. And of course, ultimately, all those roll all the way up to the top. You can do this online, and you can expand your leadership counts to be able to see what to be able to see the specific individual roles that people play. So you can see here that the number of staff that are listed, leaders, directors, coaches, hosts, etc. Those are the unique people in those roles. And then again, here are the actual roles themselves. So here you can see that there are three people that are that are in is that right? Three people that are in more than one role? Yes. Um, and then you can also explode the participants. And most of these are members but we have this new reservist role 
and we also have a participant role that we might use for events in the future just to distinguish between um, what a member is in an environment versus our events which really aren't uh, the same as our classes groups or teams in terms of quality of course there are prospects those are the number of people in those classes groups or teams that are prospects and in this case these are the prospects in Kathy's um, passion groups I believe that's probably why that's so large um, this coach is needed is a calculated number that represents the number of coach roles I'm sure that's actually should say coach roles that um, would be needed to put on these different teams so that the DCLA is filled out on these. So that's just kind of a little FYI extra. Anyway, so you can do this online. You can, of course, also export it. If you export it to Excel, it actually keeps all of the formatting, including the exploding pluses and minuses. So once you get it into the spreadsheet, you can also explode or contract columns and uh, the same thing here. So that's an example of a involvement listing and counts report that you'll be able to run for your ministry areas once you complete your training. Thanks.